one good thing about Mamby, he takes the play. He doesn't really let you take the play. You hit him a couple of good punches. Even though he's not a big puncher, he rallies back pretty good. That keeps him in the fight. Well, Saul Mamby also reminds me of Muhammad Ali. He knows exactly how to tie a man up. The second round, Costello went to his body and slowed him down, but yet he still held on. Son of a Jamaican father, a Spanish mother, graduate of Bronx Vocational High School and a Vietnam veteran, Tom Amby has been around. Started his pro career back in Jamaica. The Ray Leonard, we're now into the third round here, and I'm wondering if, if we expect that Mamby can survive as he does so well in going the distance, does the 12-round distance help him or Castillo rather than the 15? Well, for him, it's going to help him. And also, you got to think about the age factor. Saul Mamby has the experience, and I think he's going to utilize that. He needs to tie Costello up a little bit more and not let him work his body. He was able to frustrate Costello in the first round, but the second round, a good round for Costello. We scored the first round even and gave the second one to Costello. The judges are Lou Filippo from Downey, California, Stu Kirschenbaum from Detroit, Spider Bynum from Dallas. And one of the outstanding referees working is Tony Perez, but he will not figure in the scoring. Combination fell short from the challenger, Mandy. Usually muscular guys like Bill Costello have a tendency to get tired in a fight. Although in the Shields fight, in all the heat, he did not get tired. He seems to have great stamina. But I noticed last round, Tim, that he was opening his mouth and starting to breathe pretty heavily already. I don't know why. Earlier this summer, his 12-round decision over Ronnie Shields featuring knockdowns by both fighters. Temperatures ran to about 120 degrees in this small building, the neighborhood center. Mamby thinks that Costello has not trained properly for a title fight in this case. He said he stayed in the city, lived in a hotel, trained at his regular gym, didn't get away to the traditional training camp, the isolation that a champion usually does when he's preparing for a defense. I don't think all fighters need to get, be isolated. In fact, I, I normally train in hotels. Um, a lot of fighters try to tuck themselves out and go in isolation, Tim. Mamby, as we have pointed out, did not have a camp for this fight because he didn't know he had the fight till last week. Monday of this week, to be precise. Under the 32nd mark, Costello pressing against Mamby again. Coming to the end of round number three. Costello's wife, Jane, at ringside as we begin round number four. Uh, Tim, uh, Victor Valley told Billy Costello, he said he's got a body. Forget the head for a while. Punch to the body. And Bobby Lewis told Mamby, he said he's trying to throw right hands over your jab, so double up your jab. Bobby Lewis, Bill Present, and the veteran Al Smith working in. Yeah, and there's Andy's that double corner. jab. Double jab and a good right hand behind it that scores. Bill Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tim Ryan. We are live on CBS Sports Saturday from Kingston, New York. Bill Costello making his second title defense. There's a triple jab by Mamby. Mamby is landing some punches, but it's open glove punches, so it's not really even towel behind it. Mamby again uh, pointing out that he was grabbed behind the head. He points out all of the fouls that uh, he, he sees them. Maybe when his career is over, Tim is looking for his referee's license. He just practices. <laughs> you know, Costello showed us a pretty good jab in the Shields fight, and he's using it again in this fight. Pretty stiff jab when he gets it in there. And there's the uppercut that Bobby Lewis told Mamby to look out for. These guys have, have each other scouted pretty well. Solid left that the challenger Mamby walked right into. Costello's jab is a stiff jab. Mamby's is more of a paint job jab. And that's the punch that Costello should be using that left jab to get inside. Good left landed by the challenger, counter back by the champion Costello. Costello's punches him are much more effective than Mamby's. He's really digging these guys. Oh, well, there he, he really winged one there and wound up losing his balance in the process. Well, Tim, excuse me, Joe. Tim, that's going in uh, Mamby's favor. Frustration. Combination by Costello, and he just landed a low blow. Tony Perez evidently didn't see it. Costello's mouth is wide open. The crowd here at the neighborhood center getting behind their champion. 
champion. This is when Landry's asked for trouble. He tried to exchange punch for punch with a, a devastating punch like Bill Costello. Under 30 seconds to go, round four, scheduled for 12. Good short right hand by the champion to the ear of Mamby. Going good short hooks to him. Earlier today, an upset win, Juan Kid Mesa, first round knockout of unbeaten Jaime Garza for the Super Bantamweight title. Scheduled for 12, Bill Costello, the champion, WBC super lightweight, 140 pounds. The challenger is a former champion, 37-year-old Sal Mamby. Victor Valley used that one minute between rounds to uh, speak a volume of boxing information to his charge, Costello. I don't know how a fighter can absorb all of that. Ray, uh, is it possible to remember all of that, or you just black it out? Well, let's take shorthand, Tim. <laughs> Well, he did tell him to use that jab, and uh, Billy Costello showed a pretty good jab again with a double jab. The, the difference inside, and I think this would be a, a part of the fight, is the fact that Mamby is completely relaxed when he's inside, and Costello is using, trying to use his strength and muscles. He could get tired in the fight. Ray, even though uh, Mamby appears at this point to, uh, to be very much into a good pace for himself physically, uh, We've seen a rather busier Costello through the early rounds. The question, I suppose, is conditioning as always. Does Costello look fit to you? Well, I'll tell you one thing, Tim. In fact, the first and the fourth round were good rounds for uh, Sal Mondi. Then he's hit by a combination, a beautiful combination. But the early rounds were good for Sal Mondi because he was able to frustrate Costello. And Costello was able to exert a lot of unnecessary energy. Here, they're back and they punching the tie up, and this is what Sal Mami wants, to stay inside the tie man up. The loss of it. energy then could become a factor for Costello as the fight goes on. And that's that's what he's still missing. Looks to me like he is trying very hard to land the knockout punch kill, and uh, against the Mambi, that's a frustrating exercise, as we've been saying. Tim, knockouts come by themselves. He should just blow his combinations, use his jab, and as Victor Valley told him, stay cool. Mamby is so smart. He got hit with that one good combination. He just grabbed Costello and waltzed him around the ring. And a minute to go, round five. It's a very frustrating fight for Costello, as he can't land that big bomb. And the reason, because Lambie knows exactly when it's coming, because Costello punches the out there telegraph. He's, he's rushing himself. He's getting a little over anxious. Lambie always an elusive target. He's never been down. 55 fights, as we said earlier. He doesn't often give you a clear shot. A little step, a little slip, a little duck. Coming to the end of round number five. Schedule for 12. Championship action. I mean, nearly bang hits. Round number six, Tim Ryan with Joe Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard. We are live in New York watching Joe Costello defend his WBC super lightweight crown, 140 pounds, against the former champion, Sal Mamby, who took this fight on less than a week's notice, replacing the injured Leroy Haley. So far on our scorecard, we've got uh, Costello with a handy lead. I've been unable to give Mamby a round, calling the first one even. On the other hand, there is definitely frustration on the part of the champion, Costello, who was, it was obvious, was hoping to have an early knockout. Two good hook, hooks by Costello, Tim. In Mamby's corner, they gave him a lecture. They're not satisfied with his performance. They said, you know how to box. You're not using your boxing ability. You're lazy with your jab. Said, hit him with that right hand and move away. It's easy to say, but hard to do because he's got a big bomber there in front of him. Well, it was only chance to win this fight would appear to be by outpointing Costello. Therefore, he hit, does have to be busier. He's got to be throwing a lot of punches and scoring them. So far, I haven't uh, got him on my card doing very well in that department. Well, Tim Manley is making uh, Costello miss, but he's not capitalized on the mistake that he's making. He needs to punch back. He has to foul back. And that's why I think his corner is really upset with him. 
Then Ray is right in the corner. They have to be upset. <clears throat> they would like to get Mamby out of there. A lot of things can happen in the fight. We've said before that one punch can change a fight. A bad punch can change a fight. There's a lot of ways, as long as the guy is still in there and surviving, that he can win a fight. And we've seen guys before that said he's no puncher. All of a sudden, he hits a guy, and the guy's down. Just landing the punch the right way. They appear to be a cut on the left eye side of Over the eyebrow. That occurred just about 20 to 30 seconds ago in this round. And it was, again, one of those ones hard to know whether they clashed heads or whether it came from a blow. Under a minute to go. There's been a lot of head work this round, Tim. Either guy could have been cut. That's what I say when you're in Costello's corner, he's got the lead. You still like to see him get the guy out of there. Oh, left hook like that. Nearly landed one big left hook. Mamby, with that terrific ability to pick up a punch, was able to turn his head, pull back just enough to reduce the effect. And at the 30-second mark, round six. Good combination by the champion. Left hand back from Mamby. Coming to the end of round number six. Priscilla lands the left hook again. Well, you're looking at the neighborhood center in Kingston, New York, apparently more than 100 years old in this historic town. We've added on a little bit here and there, but uh, it has a long and distinguished history, and now it has its own athletic star, Bill Costello, defending his crown. We're into round seven, scheduled for 12. A little slice over the left eye of the challenger, Mandy. Bill Present worked on it between rounds. as always in support of Costello. Tom Mendy has the team to frustrate Costello, but he doesn't have the power to uh, gain any respect. What has happened thus far is the fact that he's been frustrating Costello for the first two, three rounds. Costello tries to work inside, but he gets over anxious and he misses. Uh, if I was in Costello's corner, I'd say, hey, that's another round you have in the bank. Just relax, keep doing what you're doing. You're winning the fight. Mamby's the guy that's going to have to change and do something if he wants to walk out with the title. Mamby just missed with a right hand, and then Costello cracked the right hand back. But Mamby has a chin of iron. He really got hit that time. I think for Costello is a stakes to body. It's been a big change every time he goes to the body of Sal Mamba. He slows down. If Billy Costello wins this fight and comes out the champion, he's going to be a lot better for it. He's learning while he's fighting, believe it or not. He went 12 against the very tough and accomplished Ronnie Shields in his first title defense. Now he's shown he can go the distance. Mamby has shown that many times. by Costello. That rocks Mamby. Costello now is trying to bring the punches under with uppercuts. Under a minute to go, round seven. An uppercut from outside is a very, very dangerous punch. If you get nailed going, it could be curtains. Another right hand lead landed. Big right hand. And look at that Mamby. I mean... He can sure take a shot. Not only take a shot, he's saying, come on. He wants to fight now. They've asked him many times, why is he not retired by now? He says, I love this game, and I make a good living from it. Christmas is coming. Give me the fight. He was confident that he could handle Costello. So far on our scorecards, an official at the Ari. The cut over the left eyebrow of the challenger, Mamby, worked on well, as usual, by Bill Present, one of the good cut men in the business. It has not been a problem for Mamby. The problem has been the champion, Bill Costello, who, despite his apparent efforts to score the knockout, has nonetheless rolled up, in our view, most of the points in this fight. 
Now Mamby fighting with some new aggression here in round number eight. Timmy got hit with a good right hand. Oh. Costello is warned by Tony Perez for the wrestling move as he threw Mamby off him. But Mamby had him in a clinch. Again, so it's another good sign of frustration. And I'm sure Mamby wants to see that in Costello. Mamby is now also bleeding from the lip. Yeah, he got hit with a good right hand, Tim. Split his lip wide open. We're in the eighth round, scheduled for 12. He saw the uppercut lead from Costello, something he will do. Costello has to be saying to himself, now, boy, this is some tough nut because he's hit him with some shots, and believe nothing has really happened to Mamby. Hasn't been in any serious trouble as yet. Mamby currently ranked number seven in the world. And if Costello thought there was any chance he'd have an easy fight, he certainly hasn't had it. opening bell. It is warm in here despite the crisp November air outside. Oh, a big left hand by Costello, and, and while he moved, Mamby, he didn't back him up. You have to take your head off this tall man. Boy, he's, do you? he's in great, incredible shape. Remember, he had been working out with a welterweight, not preparing for a fight, just staying in shape. But getting some sparring in with Bobby Joe Young. warm in here with more than 1,500 people jammed in. The lights on. Doors closed. Big right hand by Costello. Caught Mamby running in. Under the 22nd mark. Round eight. Neither fighter's been down as we come to the end of the eighth round. Mamby willing to stand there toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Look at this exchange. This is round number nine, the champion in blue, Bill Costello, the challenger. The amazing South. The man is trying to back Costello up. He's rising to the right hand. Bill Ray Leonard, Bill Clancy, Tim Ryan as the crowd. Plenty of vocal support for Bill Costello. He lays himself bare for these fans. Two fights in a row now. Ronnie Shields, his first defense. Grueling 12-rounder. Getting off the canvas to knock down Shields for the decision victory. And in a battle here with Sal Mamby, though, even though we have tilted the scoring in our card heavily in favor of the champion, he's had to work every single second of every round. Costello out of the clinch. 
coming to the end of round number nine. The pace starting to show as they've been grabbing each other a little more. Three rounds remaining if it goes the 12 for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. 140 pounds. We're live in Kingston, New York. The champion, Bill Costello, with the commanding lead as we view it. The challenger in white, Mamby, somewhat desperate now. Going inside, two good short shots from Costello. Well, Ray Leonard, uh, we're looking at a, a fight here which has not been different from what we expected, although the amazing stamina of Sal Mamby still has to be recognized and applauded. It's a bit of a surprise, the, the condition of Sal Mamby. I mean, it's been a fast-paced fight. In fact, he's held his own. He has not hit Costello with any devastating punches, although he's put frustration in the face of Costello. Costello's done a good job of going to the body. And that's been the biggest, some of the biggest uh, punches he's been able to deliver. Round 10. Bill Clancy, Tim Ryan, live from Kingston, New York. Costello rips that left hook, partially blocked though by Miami. Very tough to hit Miami with a clean punch. Right hand scored by Costello. I'm really surprised to see that Miami is starting to beat become a little more aggressive with the puncher like Costello. But at this point now, as far as scoring is concerned, he needs to do that. Costello right now, despite the fact that he's winning, he trains for two months, he looks the more tired of the two. Mamby's a throwback to the old days, Tim. That's the way the fighters used to be. In the gym every day, always ready for an opportunity. Doesn't happen too much anymore. Now the fighter wants to know, when am I fighting? Tell me when I'm fighting, then I'll come to the gym. Big difference. And how much money am I going to get? I make it a lot. <laughs> that was always my concern. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a big right hand by Costello. Mamby just refusing to go there while his knees buckle a little. Refused to wilt. This is round 11. Tim Ryan with Bill Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard watching Bill Costello defend his title. He is in blue. The challenger, Sal Mamby in white. Desperately behind on the scorecards that we're keeping unofficially. Costello's task would simply seem to be to avoid a lucky punch from Mamby, not known as a big KO man. Tim Costello has hit Mamby with his best shots. A lot of fighters have the trick and hit them with a good shot. They smile at you, <laughs> even though they're hurt. Mamby doesn't smile, but it's not the same effect. Nothing seems to happen. Costello and his corner they have to say, hey, don't worry about it. Just keep hitting him. Well, he just landed another good right hand and backed up Mamby a little bit. But that's all. And there he caught him with an uppercut. Look at Costello. Look over to his corner. Look at Valley. Say, hey, that's as good an uppercut as I can throw. He's still here. The man is doing a very good job of having a chin behind his shoulder. He's keeping that chin tucked in. Mamby's bleeding badly from the mouth now, Tim. Last punch did it. Out since that big punch, Billy hasn't thrown a punch. There it is, right hand. All right. We're in the 11th round, scheduled for 12. I agree with Gil and Gil say this is a good fight for Costello. In fact, it's like a professor and a student. Costello's going to come out here a much better fighter, much smarter. And it's also an entertaining fight, even though, as I say on my card, my personal card, I've not been able to get Mamby around. And yet, he's made an action round out of every one. Nailed Costello with a pretty good right hand, Tim. And he knows it.
Costello's had him coming in. That mouth of Mamby's is in bad shape right now. You have to take a good look at that between rounds. Look at Mamby come forward. Mamby has become the stalker. Under 30 seconds to go in the 11th round. It would be redundant to say this is a gutty performance by Mandy. He's still trying to win this fight. The man is a cut now on the right eye of Bill Costello. Final seconds of the 11th round. A slice appears to be on the right eyelid of the champion. All right, let's pick up that action from round number 11 where the damage was done. There was the uppercut, Tim. Th those are the kind of punches that can rip your mouth wide open. That's what happens. Bill Present working on him there, and it's cleaned it up pretty well. And meanwhile, the champion, a slash that appears to be on a right eyelid, and had that occurred earlier in the fight, actually it's just below the eyebrow, that it occurred early in the fight. And it could have certainly made a big difference. One round remaining. One would assume that Costello can get through this. Here at least uh, will probably win the decision. Well, they started off the round by banging heads together. And Mamby's the stalker, and Costello's backing up. This is a very interesting round. A very, uh, a round can be a lot of punch can be thrown. Frustration with Costello and desperation with Sal Mamby. Tony Perez warning them about their heads. Costello looking to his corner, clearly frustration. That last round, he just felt that he landed enough shots to go to put anybody else down. Steady came out of the round with a cut over his eye. Here comes Mandy forward again. And they have Costello boxing. Sitting on the lead, Tim. And I can't say that I blame him. No, well, it ought to work. Costello appeared to me trying to sucker man the for a left hook. He's been moving around. His final round. Once again, the body shots. Mamby looks in good, good enough shape for uh, him to go another eight rounds if necessary. <laughs> He's amazing. I don't see there's any way that he can win this fight. It's unlikely by knockout. It's unlikely by the cut. And in my view, at least, unlikely on the scorecard. But he is nonetheless an amazing challenger and an amazing professional. That is the word, Tim, professional. He's the ultimate professional. Billy Costello has done a solid job, in my opinion, in fighting a QB like Mamby and building up the kind of lead we think he has. Now we see a little frustration, a little frustration in the eyes of uh, Don Mamby. But Costello certainly has done the job. I mean, he's won every round on my scorecard and, and has landed the better shots and has thrown punches that would send most people down. And that's why he's frustrated. Mamby is still standing there in front of him. Costello proving very much his championship caliber. Two fights in a row. An impressive victory over Ronnie Shields and an apparent victory here over Sal Mamby. Final second. Costello will be back with the decision here in Kingston. Let's go to Pat O'Brien in New York. All right, Tim, thank you very much. Let's get you right to the scoreboard and bring you up to date on a couple's active scores. We're still awaiting the decision here. The scoring at 
ringside uh, being done by Lou Filippo from Downey, California. Stuart Kirschenbaum from Detroit. Spider Bynum from Dallas. And uh, their uh, cards are being gathered by the announcer Ward Todd. And uh, we'll get the official decision. Costello and Mambi. It has been a grueling contest through 12 full rounds. Two in a row for Costello. Had to go 12 before he got the win over Ronnie Shields. And Sal Mambi, no matter what happens, has again gone through another fight in which he has never tasted the canvas has never been down in 56 professional bouts and he's been in there with the likes of people like Duran and many of the tough guys at his weight and uh, is just a remarkable athlete taking this fight on a week's notice but there is a remarkable and deserving champion Bill Costello we suspect he's going to be the winner but as always we disclaim that until we know what the judges think uh, we can't uh, put the crown back on him or hand him his belt Looking to see if uh, they have the decision as yet. And uh, they do not. They're over there now with the officials on the far side. The WBC representative, Dr. Romero Garcia of Mexico. John Branca, the chairman of the New York State Athletic Commission. As they uh, do the tallying here. Costello receiving the applaud from the crowd. Well, we didn't get the individual scoring, but the winner is the champion, Bill Costello, and that's the story from.